A warm welcome for everyone to the session number 4 in the part of React Learning Series. In this session, we will understand about what are React components, how do we create components and how do we render them. So let's start our discussion with what is a component. Components are the building blocks of a React application. Components allow us split the user interface into independent and reusable pieces. A component is a combination of three things. First one template using HTML, second one user interactivity using JavaScript and third one applying styles using CSS. Any React applications UI can be segregated into different components like header component, navigation bar component, footer component and content component. Conceptually, a component is a JavaScript class or function that accepts input as properties, in short we call them as props and returns a react element that describes how a section of the user interface should appear. A component can be created as a function component or as a class component. Let's open the demo project we have created in our last session using Visual Studio Code and run this project using Node.js command prompt. Now let's say we want to create a JavaScript function which takes employee object and returns a container which displays the employee information. I navigate to index.js file function I name it as display employee info and it takes employee object we want to return a container which displays employee id employee name location and salary is a return div in which we are creating a paragraph tag in paragraph I have a label employee id and I want a display id value here so we would like to fetch that from this employee object so to evaluate that we use flower brackets employee dot assuming that so we have a property called as id now this displays id value by fetching it from this employee property let's copy and paste this now we change it to employee name location and salary and let our properties refer to the same employee name location and salary now we have created a function called as display employee info which takes employee object and returns the employee details and this is an example of a function component guys and this component can be called just by creating const element is equals to we can say display employee info and here we can pass these properties as attributes here id is equals to name equals to presume location equals to bangalore and i pass salary equals to one two three four five and when we call this function it returns an element and we have assigned it to this element now let's render this react dom dot render element and the container document dot get element by id and we pass root let's save this for changes let's open browser navigate to localhost column 3300 and we can see the output employee id name location and salary are being displayed here in our previous sessions we have created react elements that represent dom tags however elements can also represent user defined components like display employee info is a user defined component which has been created here when react sees an element representing a user defined component it passes jsx attributes to this component as a single object so here employee is the object which contains properties like id name location and salary a function component can also be created by using arrow function so we can make small changes to this and convert it into an arrow function I say where display employee info is equals to it takes employee object then goes to this function definition now if i try adding a h1 tag here like employee details save these changes let us navigate to the browser and we could see these changes here remember a note here always start component names with a capital letter react treats components starting with lowercase letters as dom tags for example div represents and html div tag h1 represents html tag but display employee info here represents a user defined component if the component name or if the function name is not starting with capital letter then react will not recognize it as a component so let us make changes to this instead of capital d i change it to small d save these changes let us go back to the browser and you can see you will not have any output because react will not recognize this as a component because the name is not starting with capital letter now let's say along with employee details we would like to display employee department information as well one way is to write the code to display department information in an employee component but it is not a good practice to keep everything in one component 
to promote code reusability we will split them into different components so let's say we will create a new component called as department component and that component will display the department information like department name department heading i have kept the code handy it takes department info object and it returns a container which displays department name and department head name we can use that component in our display employee info so we can say department and we have to pass department name and head name so dept name is equals to employee dot dept name is the property head name equals to employee dot head name to make it to work let us change our function name to start with capital letter and make changes here now we have to pass few more additional information like department name ui dev head name equals to presume tech let us save this let's save this let's go back to the browser and we could see this change department name and department head name the components we have created until now are called as function components we will understand about class components in our next session thanks for watching this video and have a great day